everyone. I am Kubra from Turkey. I hope everyone is fine. Today I'm talking about 3D objects in Flutter. So let's begin. I will introduce myself first. Uh, I'm a freelance mobile application developer. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, a W10 ambassador and GDG organizer. I worked before uh, as an R&D engineering and a Flutter developer. So what will we see on this presentation? Uh, you will see two packages uh, for to implement 3D objects in Flutter. Flutter Cube and 3D Model Fever for Flutter. We have four of these packages in the introduction, features, parameters, implementation, differences between the two packages, and sources. Uh, 3D objects are those objects which have three dimensions length, width, and height, depth. Uh, these objects provide a great user experience when used for various purposes. And adding such type of visualization, uh, which in turn your app to grow and maybe you can reach out to many users. I will be showing building a Flutter based app to demonstrate how we can add 3D objects to your project. We are going to use Flutter Cube package first. First of all, we have to install Flutter Cube package. Uh, don't forget to pop, uh, pop get it. Next step is to download a 3D object. I have downloaded a cube object. In our Flutter object, we have to create, create first an asset folder and pass the folder that we download it. In the folder, there should be an object MTL and PNG files. An object file uh, format stores uh, information about 3D models. The file can encode the service geometry of a 3D model and also store color and textures, a texture information actually. And MTL file, so a material settings file used by 3D objects uh, for to editing application. It is stored with an object file and it describes how textures are applied to the object. It contains the name of the texture bitmap files and the 3D positioning of the texture. Once we pass the package, we should give the asset a path in PubSpec. You can use the slash for all the files that are in the folder that you downloaded. After we import the object, uh, we go to the main.dart. Uh, you can use the material app and set a title here. Create also a home page dart uh, for putting the objects. We have that here an um, app bar and the body, the body called cube. For the cube, we have to use on scene created. The object type will be scene. We have to use this theme to add the 3D object inside the theme. And to code for the zoom in and out, uh, you can give a value for the zoom. We have to uh, also identify the object and initialize it. We have to put the file name, the file path from the assets, and don't forget uh, to import the library to home page. So I have a video uh, for the results, what we see after we run it. Uh, you can move around, rotate around, you can zoom in and zoom out, but on your mobile device, not on a web. Uh, for the mobile device, you have to use at least API 28. So this is, this is the rot rotation of the cube. You can see the X, Y, Z coordinates. From other mobile devices, you have to use at least API 28. Uh, if you want to add more objects, add a scene, use expanded and give rotation, and download another object and pass it to the asset folder. Again, uh, import the folder that you download it to uh, PubSpec. 
So that was the first package. The second package for 3D objects is the model fewer package. We will implement a model fewer package and show 3D models in the GLTV and the GLB formats using a Flutter application, uh, using your Flutter application. The model fewer package uh, shows 3D models in the GLTF and GLB formats and rotate 360 degrees by mouse, hand touch, and auto rotate. It will be shown on your uh, device. So what are the GLTF and the GLB files? G GLTF, a GL transmission format, is an open format specification for efficient delivery and loading of 3D content. And the GLB files can be used to save and share digital assets uh, between different 3D uh, modeling tools. So we have uh, parameters for the 3D model viewer for Flutter. The CRC, uh, this parameter is used to the URL of the path to the 3D model. This parameter is required only GLTF, GLB models are supported. Alt, this parameter is utilized to design the model with custom content that utilized will portray the model to watchers who utilize a screen reader or in any case, uh, really open an extra semantic setting to comprehend what they are seeing. And at least we have auto rotate delay. This parameter is utilized to set the deferral uh, before auto revelation starts. The configuration of the worth is number of milliseconds. The default is 3000. So, the implementation of the model viewer, uh, this is the implementation of the model viewer, uh, add the package to pop spec, add the assets. Uh, for the use of the GLTF and the GLB format assets on Android 9 Plus devices, you should go to Android Manifest XML and put the uses clear text traffic true. In order to view remote documents from an HTTP URL, clear text uh, network traffic support is required on Android 9 uh, API uh, level 28 or higher. Clear text support is disabled by default and apps targeting Android 9 or higher uh, will need to add to Android uses clear text traffic true. If you're only working on the HTTPS files, this is not uh, required. The model viewer is, doesn't support a new safety, so you have to change the SDK uh, to 2.7.0. Uh, we have also the Dart files. Create a Dart file called model viewer that Dart. In the body, we will have uh, to add model viewer. Uh, inside, we will add a background color for the model viewer. CRC means uh, the user adds URL and SS only. GLTB, GLTF, GLB models are uh, supported. We will add all main configures uh, for the model with custom text that will describe the model to viewers. We use a screen reader. Auto play means if this uh, is true, a model has animations. And animation uh, will automatically begin to play when this attribute is set. The default is false. Uh, we will add auto-rotate. It enables the auto-rotation of the model. We will add camera controls. In, uh, camera controls enables controls via mouse touch when it's flat view. At last, run the application. So I will run it on my physical device. I will show it uh, on the screen.
So I have implements, a Viking object and a Viking ship. You can rotate it, you can zoom in and out. So this is the application uh, after you write code and run. Uh, you can download 3D free objects from the site, a free 3D, uh, Sketchfab, Kobe Pizza, uh, NASA 3D resources. Uh, I uh, used uh, Polypizza and Sketchfab for the presentation. So what are differences between the cube package, the 3D model viewer? Uh, the cube package has MTL. Uh, object and PNG files, so we have to download these uh, files. The model viewer, uh, you have only downloads the GLB files for the model viewer. Uh, the Q package supports the platforms Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, OS, and uh, Windows. And the 3D model viewer only supports Android. The Q package doesn't uh, support new safety. But the model viewer support new safety. So in this presentation, I have explained how you can add 3D objects in your Flutter uh, project. You can modify the codes, and if you want to test, you can get it from my GitHub. You can maybe add uh, a list, or uh, you can add Google Fonts, or uh, you can change the background color or the app bar color. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, I wish everybody a good day.